Today, Seattle's mayor, Jenny Durkin, says her proposal for next year's budget involves some hard choices, including cuts that will impact agencies like SDOT, city parks, and the police. King 5's Natalie Swaby joins us live now. So, Natalie, the mayor says this is one of the deepest economic challenges the city has ever had, right? Mark, that's right. You know, the city has already had to put a freeze on hiring, a freeze on some wages. Now for next year, they're looking at using emergency reserves and making reductions to balance the budget. Take 2020 and 2021 together, and we're hundreds of millions of dollars in the hole. So that required us to make some difficult choices. Mayor Jenny Durkin is looking at layoffs for about 40 city employees and pausing some capital projects as COVID-19 continues to be costly. Driving up the dollar amount needed to address homelessness and housing to more than 150 million and hitting the hospitality industry and the city's downtown core hard. As for Seattle Police, the department releasing this statement today notes what's being proposed would reduce SPD's budget for personnel, equipment, supplies, and overtime by more than $22 million and transfer services like the 911 Communication Center and Parking Enforcement to different city agencies. So we had to make some hard choices with this budget. But there's some things we knew we had to do as a matter of principles and values. The mayor is referring to her commitment to invest $100 million into BIPOC communities. A number of racial justice coalitions and community groups put out this joint statement saying they want the $100 million to come from divesting police funding. But for 2021, the mayor's proposal has the money coming from the jumpstart tax on high salaries that city council approved over the summer. So I think a lot of people heard when the jumpstart was going through that that would be money that would go for small businesses and affordable housing, but it's not going to be that way for 2021, right? Even under the city council's resolution, um, they, they anticipated that this year that jumpstart would not go to those kinds of programs. It really would be devoted to more basic city services. The mayor also said this proposed budget is just a first step. City Council has the ability to review it and make changes. Live in Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.